positive about me. Then I went to a shih tzu club that was no positive anything, right? Okay, right? And then my club that I went to, uh, uh, to Pennsylvania was a little bit interesting that they were very into uh, Joanne Plum. You guys know who Joanne Plum is? Okay, right? So she's a big food, uh, she trains on most food, she's a real food, especially in young dog stuff, right? And uh, 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 pretty good stuff, right? Uh, um, especially at the time she was very good, right? Uh, um, they, uh, uh, they did a lot of that, and they still believe in the correction, so I was like, huh, oh, this is interesting. I remember doing this stuff, and I didn't know you could do it with your Schutzen dog, right? Okay? So we kind of transferred over. So I almost taught all my uh, first Schutzen 3 dog everything through recorded? straight pressure. Yes. Right? Okay. 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 And uh, 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 this club, I came back and I started introducing more, uh, more uh, positive reinforcement methods and stuff like that that I used to apply with all my old pet dog stuff, right? And then in two, late 2004, early 2005, I was around. Uh, uh, we were uh, we were looking at the seminar. And we had in a guy named Michael Ellis. Okay, right. This is uh, uh, um, pre Michael Ellis school stuff, right? And uh, uh, whenever he came in, uh, uh, what he did was it was kind of like this perfect time for in my my thing because I had two worlds. So I knew how to I knew how to pressure a dog and I knew how to uh, train things reward based, right? But Michael, the interesting thing about him was is that he had a very good balance of both. Okay, so he kind of cemented in how to put both worlds together very well uh, uh, in the beginning. So it was like, hey, we teach everything through positive enforcement, right? Uh, Reward-based stuff, right? Breaking things down very small. And then later over pressure, he even had protocols for, this is how you reduce the problem colors. This is how you introduce uh, remote colors. This is how, you know, right? And so whenever we got, uh, got that information, it was like everything uh, kind of changed for me, then everything started getting more systematic. To, so now now every year it changes, okay, right? And things improve and stuff like that. So what we do today, I hope next year isn't the same thing that I'm doing today, it's something different, okay? Does that make sense, sure. All right, so anyway, we did shoots in, I, I put some tables on some dogs, right? We uh, uh, went through. And then, uh, uh, so we have this new approach to dog training, right? Uh, um, uh, in 2008, I got a job from this guy named Michael Ellis. <laughs> okay, right? Uh, um, and he didn't, uh, uh, in that dog, uh, um, the club was a very German Shepherd club. Okay, right? And this Malinois didn't act like a German Shepherd, it acted very much like a Malinois, right? And the, in the protection work, things weren't quite clicking. Okay, right? So we have the obedience portion of it, right? And then we have, but the, uh, the, the protection portion was very uh, kind of German Shepherd uh, style dog training. We'll get into that a little bit too on, on what I mean by that, right? And so anyway, I showed Michael a video of this dog at six months old and the dog was out of his sure? mind, about four months old, uh, uh, out of his mind. And uh, thank you. Yeah. And Michael says, stop whatever you're doing now. Okay, right? Don't ever do that yes. again. It looks very cool, but don't okay. do that ever again. Or oh, share it. Right? Share it. And uh, uh, he went through and started to explain some Call stuff. And he's like, the dogs are ring dog. And I was like, what do you It's mean the same that, as mine. Right? And so no, anyway, it's the same as mine, that was but it the ends beginning in of my money ring career. Okay, right? So about so it's 2009, we started doing some money ring over okay. there. A couple of people, another Thanks. girl from my shooting right. club, went with me to do money ring. Okay. Uh, um, and uh, we started in the uh, monitoring world, and uh, uh, for the little club, uh, we went on and uh, uh, we got some titles and some dogs. We got a couple of dogs that, that, went, uh, uh, that went pretty far. Uh, the club's been, uh, we've taken a lot of those pieces that I knew from the Shinsen world, and we developed new systems to work for monitoring. Okay, right? And I still do Shinsen, I still have a few clients and stuff. But, uh, uh, but whenever I got into the body room, the, the interesting thing was is that it changed my whole world on, on how protection works, okay? Right, it was a completely different style, okay, right? And it basically goes down to the equipment that we use, okay? In Schutzen, we use sleeves, and in you use suits, okay? 
And Schutzen, how you make a dog feel good is different than how you make a dog feel good on a suit. Okay, right? And depending on how the dog is bred, okay, genetically, right, can dictate how we work the dog. So, whenever I start to talk to some of you guys about the dogs, I know a lot about Trevor Chuck, or not a lot, but I know enough about Trevor Chuck, because I work a lot of them or laws and stuff like that. There are probably things that I ask you, hey, how's this dog bred? How is it trained? Because that gives me insight into how to work the dog sometimes. Okay, right? Okay. Right. So anyway, um, uh, today, now, uh, uh, now, uh, I still do mainly body writing and stuff like that, right? But I do have three or four groups that, that have me out for, uh, for Schutzen. You guys are predominantly a Schutzen group, right? Uh, I take a lot of what I'm doing from the ring sport into the Schutzen work now. Okay, so now what I took into the, from the Schutzen work into the ring sport world, world, now I'm taking ring sport stuff into the IPO world. So even how I uh, uh, um, do control work and things like that now is a lot different than what we did even six, seven years ago, five years ago. Okay, and it's still changing, right? So most of the stuff, you guys don't have a decoy, right? Right. But most of this stuff, right? Uh, uh, protection exercises and stuff like that, right? Shouldn't be taught with a decoy anyway. Okay, right? They're protection, they're protection exercises. They're, they're obedience exercises. Okay, all right. So uh, that's my breakdown on where I come from. So we'll get into even more of the science stuff here after I see where everybody is from and stuff like that, right? So uh, talk a little bit about that. So I want to go around and just everybody give me a short description on yourself, your dog, your goals. Okay, Carol. No, <laughs>